and welcome back again to the adventures of Cool Cats and I'm Jesus who is making the questionable decision to I haven't run this little adventure hmm. so uh, we just got a couple quests and you may think to yourself hey man let's go do some quests so I would say don't, don't tell me what to do <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway there's a couple things I want to be doing around the place before we start getting all of those quests proper. And it's probably a good idea to get them <laughs> get them out of the way nice and quick. Uh, first things first, we want to visit this this little um, scrapyard right here. And any moment now, the name will pop up on my screen. By the way, let's take a moment to consider this little monument. This is in the apocalypse. This is when there aren't really, like, say, cranes. How much effort must have gone into putting this thing together? Yeah. Anyway. By the way, take note of her seat. And the doggies. Oh god, again. Hello, doggie. Oh, interesting, their eyes are different. I wonder if all their eyes are different. All their eyes are different. That's interesting. Doggies. Anyway, moving on swiftly. Old Lady Gibson. Hi there. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. <laughs> I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospect. That's what to say so. <laughs> well, I'll give you a hint. They used to just call me Gibson. <laughs> I hope you can figure out the rest. I don't mind, to be honest. Just getting cool. Living long is a real accomplishment these days. Remains to be seen if I end up dying peaceful in my bed. <laughs> the way I heard it, the Brotherhood of Steel ran the place before the NCR took it away from them. Yeah, the Brotherhood sure of Steel and the NCR first. had a bit of a war it was over, a while ago. With all their fancy armor and uh, and the Brotherhood didn't come out on run. top. No uh, and I'm kind of okay with that, because the Brotherhood are kind of douchey. Kind of super douchey. Anyway, I want to see if she has something in particular for sale. Not these cards, but they are nice anyway. Cards, cards, cards. Laser rifle scope, which is pretty sweet if you use laser rifles. Ah, uh, that's interesting. Okay, well, I'm glad I visited here anyway. It'll make hey. something later on a bit quicker. Take. Subject E. <gasps> Eddie! Talk to me! My name is Whitley. Hi, Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. Please continue. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was cancelled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro Outpost. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. So, um, yeah, Eddie has a set of keywords. When they're spoken to him, he will, well, react much as you've seen. So that's the first one. Uh, I think if you ask, um, Johnson Nash, or Nash Johnson, the right thing, he'll suggest to take it to a scrapyard and it, it leads you there, so it kind of gets you on the right foot, indicating that there's um, some conversations which will trigger Eddie's thing. <laughs> you can't see me right now, but I'm making a face at myself. Uh, yeah. Uh, so... <clears throat> Next on my agenda, I want to be talking to Boone. Only problem is, Boone won't talk to me because he's too busy sitting in his room being weepy. <laughs> um, 
which is fine I guess. Not really useful. He'd much rather I uh, come up to him when he's snipering and bother him. <laughs> I just remember something. This is Lady One Tattoo. Fine weather for flying. It's times like <laughs> these that make me miss it all. Vertebrate pilot. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard landing, but I walked away. <laughs> Four? No, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are those are clues, by the way. Those days are way behind me. She's involved in a quest which is actually pretty hard to get going. It's a really obscure one. It takes a fair amount of commitment as a player, so I really don't know if I'm going to experience that quest. Um. But uh, I might do, because it, it, it leads in an interesting direction, and I've never actually seen it myself. So, uh, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, that whole flying thing's a kind of hint towards that. I mean, again, we're in the apocalypse. Not many planes going around. Oh, please don't kill me. I kill you? I don't Wait, kill you. You don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? Sorry, it's just you look like his type. <laughs> you got that hard ass wasteland explorer thing going on. This is interesting because you don't really get many details about your past as the courier because your brains are blown out. But this is what this is one of the ones that show up. Like you, you, you've been to a place called New Reno, which is a place in the previous games. But well, I think little tidbits like that are just quite interesting. Kind of. In some ways, it adds to the mystery of the courier, if that makes sense. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. You can't actually fleece this guy from money by saying you're from Mr. Bishop, but I don't want to antagonize him because of a thing. Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop, well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, <laughs> so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took <laughs> This guy of the sounds like the kind of cool that cool also, cat's cool. I might have, but not as cool as cool. Okay. Sort of plowed his daughter. A little. <laughs> Thanks, but if Bishop finds me and I don't have his money, my balls are going to be on his trophy wall. <laughs> you do that? Great. I really appreciate that. So yeah, antagonizing casino bosses, mob bosses, those kind of people really isn't the best idea anyone's ever had. In fact, it's really the worst idea to have, which is why probably eventually Cool Cat's going to be doing it. Cool Cat isn't very bright sometimes. He's cool, but he's not bright. Right, so I want to talk to Boone, but he won't talk to me until night time, after 9, so basically I'm just going to fast forward time and stay into space for 6 hours. There we go. Hi, Boone! No offense. Oh, for God's sake. If you Bye. Go on, hurry up, I'll be right behind you. Keep going, don't stop. <sighs> thrilling viewing this. Thrilling. I'm thirsty again. Unfortunately, there doesn't need to be any sinks nearby. Again, I should have taken advantage of one of the bathrooms while I was there. Meh. Saboon. God damn it! Sneak up on me like I was right behind you the entire time. <sighs> yeah, I guess maybe I am, but not like you. Huh? Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? Very mysterious. 
Yeah, well, you see anybody wearing Legion Crimson with <laughs> a lot of sports equipment, you just let me know. You still haven't answered my question. That's interesting to know that Legion do, like, wear sports equipment as their outfits. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I think you better... Wait. You just got into town. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. I need some For the record, Boone's intelligence Stranger is listed start. as three. Just, just putting that out there. I said it was a start. This town. Nobody looks me straight in the eye anymore. I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, or what route to take. And they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. My wife's dead. <laughs> I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal, so I know you're... St and I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. <laughs> Good. I'll make it worth your while. Boone does not thing. look good with it that bad. Uh, <laughs> until it's over. No one in town knows. But check out that jaw, happens. man. Best you can break ever. rocks with that jaw. The Legion will be after me next. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So we gotta help Boone take revenge for his wife, which is cool. But who could it be? Hmm. So, yeah, at this point we basically got all the quests we want around here, so now I'm basically going to start... <laughs> How many times can I say the word basically in one sentence? I want to go around resolving these things. Um, first things first, we're going to talk to the last major individual who's interesting in town. He lives over here, kind of hoping he's in his house, because I don't want to go hunting for him. Uh, this fine gentleman... <laughs> oh dear. This is... <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> I like this. What? How do you get past the guard? I, 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 I hate to say it, no bark. Anyway, hi. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. <laughs> we'll just see about that. You come any closer and I'm liable to stick you with my sticking knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, if I get a knife, I'm going to call it all sticky. I'm just saying. <laughs> you sure now? It's kind of hard to hear you. <laughs> okay, okay, just speak up a little. <laughs> Not so much that they hear you. They got people everywhere. Always listening. Seen it all. Seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. The lobby, you say? Lobby too, hmm. Could be that person went in to get something. Or use the John, maybe. <laughs> Pretty interesting, either way, you ask me. I thought it was cannibals, come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. But now I know better. More red <laughs> come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest Man. appliances. Those old men are they cool. Our lady folks long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. <laughs> They're also suave. Yeah, you can basically ask anyone in town to come with you and stand outside. Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. 
sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious <laughs> yokels. Ghosts. <laughs> ghosts, but don't know they're dead. Open the <laughs> rockets so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. I see one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. Although, being a scientist, <laughs> I admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual, but with the shock of seeing a comic ghost and so forth. Like a true scientist. There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the chupacabra, the livestock vampire, says Nobark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes. <laughs> and there's bullets in them. Well, says Nobark, we got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. I like this guy. And they get real quiet. Chupacabra with an automatic. Why, why didn't we see it before? I come face to face with the Chupacabra himself one night, whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, ugliest Chupacabra <laughs> you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Best I could tell, anyways. Since he come up to me, he was invisible. Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing like it. Well, right this is like a kind of gun I'd like. But I only saw one And I do like. I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other. <laughs> well, that was quite enough of that. Uh, right, this episode has dragged on a little bit just because I wanted to wrap up the conversations with Nudin and whatnot. Next time, things are actually going to be interesting and not just all talk. <laughs> See you next time, guys.